short answer, I got shot. I was 16 years old walking home from school and I hear this pop, pop, pop. And next thing, I feel this penetrating pain just throw me to the ground. The stray bullet had entered my back, ruptured a kidney and uh, grazed my aorta. I was dying. And then someone yelled, call 911. And I guess someone did because the next thing you know, I was in the back of an ambulance and these two paramedics were working on me and just telling me to stay with them. You know, their skill kept me from dying, but the way they cared for me, that's what kept me alive. Okay. Um, when I was 16 years old, I was walking home from school. I was feet, inches from my doorstep. Mm -hmm. And I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Yay. Shout out to Brooklyn. <laughs> and um, I heard like pop, pop, pop. And it was like May. So I was like, somebody's early for July 4th. Uh, yeah. But something in my spirit just told me to turn around. And I turned around and I saw a group of guys and I saw a big 45 gun and I saw <gasps> a, a little guy just running in front of them. And I heard one more pop and I went to the floor. And at the time I didn't realize that I had just been shot in my back. Oh. What? And so I tried to stand up and my body gave out on me and I literally was just laying there. And it was eerie because that day I was just walking down to my block and I was like, where's everyone? Why is no one outside? Usually, yeah. you know, in Brooklyn, people yes. are always playing on the basketball court, no playing the street, you know, and it was like three o'clock in the day and, and um, no one was there. But all of a sudden people were coming out from everywhere. And so someone called 911 and here I was, you know, in the back of this ambulance. And um, crazily enough, the guy that they were trying to shoot, the, the bullet grazed him in the head went into my back and so he too was in the same ambulance and wow. it was just such a crazy experience but you thankfully are here. Yes. thankfully 911 oh responded oh. they were there